Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to find the inverse of a linear function. So let's first just talk about how do we find the inverse of any function? Well, we need to sub f of x for y. Then we need to swap x and y. Then we need to solve for the new y, which used to be x. And then we need to sub in y equals uh, the inverse of f of x if the inverse of the function is also a function, right? So to know if it's a function or not, we would have to decide whether or not it passes the vertical line test. Or in other words, for every input, is there exactly one output? And if so, then we're good. And if not, if there's more than one for any of those values, then it would not be a function. Now, when it comes to linear functions and finding the inverse, every single inverse of every single linear function is always a function, except for horizontal lines, right? Because the inverse of a horizontal line would be a vertical line, and that fails the vertical line test. Uh, in fact, it fails it an infinite many of times. However, any other line that is not a horizontal line will have an inverse that is, that is indeed a function as well. Okay, so let's dive into the example, because I'm sure that's why everyone actually is here. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, step one, I'm going to sub y for f of x. So our next line is y is equal to 3x plus 4. Then for the inverse, we're going to swap x and y. So for inverse, we have x is equal to 3y plus 4. And then now we're going to take this inverse and we're going to solve for the new value of y. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides to get x minus 4 is equal to 3y. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3 in order to get that y is equal to x over 3 minus 4 over 3. So my final answer is y equals x over 3 minus 4 over 3. Now this is indeed also a function, right? This is another linear function. And so then I will replace the y with the function notation. Okay, uh, let's try one more example. So for this one, first thing we're going to do, step one, is to sub y for g of x. So we now have y equals negative 2x plus 8. Uh, now for the inverse, I'm going to swap x and y. So we now have x is equal to negative 2y plus 8. Then I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides because we're going to solve for, two, for, uh, for y now. So we're going to get x minus 8 is equal to negative 2y. Uh, then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2 to get uh, negative x over 2 minus 8 over negative 2 is equal to y, which means that y is equal to negative x over 2 plus 4, and that is indeed a function as well. And so therefore, we're just going to put this in function notation like that. All right, now as always, feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section, and we'll see you for the next one.